okay, so essentially what this comes down to is we're trying to figure out the best thing to do. This truck's just a little too big for uh, the trailer that we have. Uh, everything starts getting a little bit goofy. Everything we can come up with as a good answer is sort of like half right. So in this case, we decided actually the best thing for us to do right now is just pull off the batteries. How are the di how are the diesel fumes? Oh man, you know they're so far away from here. I have no idea. And uh, technically, the truck's idling right now. <laughs> so loud. Yeah. Just there we go. Next, we disconnected the batteries. After flipping the manual kill switch, we were able to unplug some cables, but some of the other ones needed to be cut. There we go. Time for a forklift. One of the reasons that we set up shop where we did was that it gave us access to a tractor with a forklift attachment. This made it pretty easy to pull the battery boxes off. At a thousand pounds each, there's no way we could have done this without power equipment. With the battery removed, the truck couldn't move under its own power anymore, but we were able to use the tractor to push the truck back into position out of the way where it would be stored until we could return for the truck, or at least the rest of the parts. So there's the space for the battery box here. Big, big. There's all our high voltage cables hanging down right back there. Okay, it's closed. So that's it, we're done with the truck and we are on our way out of here. Back home, it's, uh, what time is it? Three-ish, 3.05 three, three oh p.m. Well, the trip didn't go exactly as planned. We didn't leave empty handed either. We had 80 kilowatt hours of lithium batteries and still a long drive home. <laughs>